We turn now to College Decision Day and how this pandemic has changed the equation for families across America. The virus eroding the college dreams for many. And some young people are now turning to Plan B. What will higher education look like on the other side of this pandemic? ABC's Terry Moran has that story. It's Decision Day for Clara Ocampo. Ocampo, O-C-A-M-P-O. Clara is a high school senior in Wheeling, Illinois, outside of Chicago, and she's heading to college, community college. I want a little small college that I can stay home and, you know, go back and forth, and um, I'm happy. Clara wants to work in the healthcare field as a phlebotomist trained to draw blood from patients. She says she's optimistic by nature and sees the pandemic as a kind of inspiration. I already knew I wanted to do it from the beginning, and I already applied way before this whole um, coronavirus started. Um, it has made me want to do it more and um, get certified more so I could go out there and um, help. Clara's choice is one story. Across the country, the math is changing dramatically for the hundreds of thousands of high schoolers who are deciding on their next steps in the shadow of the coronavirus. So will higher education change? You bet. Um, we believe that the number of college students enrolled this fall will decline by 15 to 20 percent nationwide. College was always a logical, even socially mandated choice for so many of them. But now, as families struggle with job losses and pay cuts and the massive debt loads that many American college grads carry for years loom ever larger, an old question has a sharper edge. Is college worth it? It feels very very, very, very unlikely that I'll be going to a four-year college. Chris Terezi considered going to Roosevelt University in Chicago. He was looking at broadcasting, but then the virus hit and his perspective shifted. I was teetering in the middle at that point, and this kind of just put a damper in it, at least for the, for the near future. Um, you know, again, um, the school that I had been accepted to, 40 grand a year, nothing, nothing to sneeze at. It's a lot of money, and most American students go into debt to pay for college. 69% of college students of the class of 2019 took out student loans, and they graduated with an average debt of $29,900. The hope, the gamble, is that college pays in the long run. According to the college board, the median earnings of Americans who graduate from college with a bachelor's degree are almost $25,000 higher than those of high school graduates. But for some, like Chris, the future is too uncertain right now. So today is decision day, right, for a lot of people your age in America. Uh, how is that going? What, what decision are you making going forward for yourself? I'm fortunate enough to have my job. And um, in the off chance that I go to college, um, I don't want to risk not having that job, at least for right now, because it just seems like, you know, I'm lucky to have it while I do. Chris works at Walgreens. He's a frontline essential worker in the pandemic. Not long ago, people in those jobs were called unskilled or low skilled workers. We're looking at things and we're looking at people differently now. Chris isn't sure even if he chose college and paid the money. He'd even be on campus. It doesn't seem like for a long time it's there's going to be an environment even to go to school. You know, if we want to have to start out school online in the first place, it doesn't feel like it's going to be worth it, at least right now. All these questions are very real, but the draw of a college education is still very powerful. We're asking them to be grown-ups very, very quickly and make an important decision we need them to go to college. They are our hope for the future, and we need them to be the next set of economists and scientists who are going to solve the next great crisis that comes our way, and that's certainly going to happen someday. But the four-year route isn't for everyone. Kira Young is a cosmetology student, and her focus when this pandemic ends may sound simpler, but it's still important. And more than anything, I think it's going to be an honor to just be able to give life back, you know, and be able to give people the confidence and the self-esteem that they've that they've lost. Um, people are going through a time of basically mourning and grieving. Terry Moran, ABC News, Washington. So many with a serious dilemma. Our thanks to Terry Moran for that reporting. 
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.